MSM and College Multi Hexa welcome you to our student information session 2020 live. We are all going through the current situation of COVID-19 pandemic and it has not been easy for all of us. However, we should not let it stop from enhancing our knowledge, improving our minds, sharpening our skills, and connecting with each other continuously virtually. At College Multi Hexa, we bring the excitement of new knowledge to our students and outcomes of our teaching and research to the world. In today's session, we will talk about College Multi Hexa, our program options, life in Saguenay, career options, as well as part-time job options for the international students. Before we start, we would like to take you through the basic features of Zoom. There are multiple options available in your control panel. Please note that this is a webinar and your videos and mic will remain inactive during this session. Any questions related to College Multi Hexa, please put it up in the Q&A section that appears in your control panel. For any technical questions, you can put those in the chat box. If your questions are not answered during the webinar, we will be sending an email with all the details. Without any further ado, let us begin with today's session. Hello everyone, I am Bhumika Sharma, the Marketing Manager at College Multi Hexa Canada. Our College Multi Hexa is located in Quebec and we are located in the city Saguenay. Now here's a quick illustration um, of the location of Saguenay on Quebec map for your reference. Um, so we are pretty close to Quebec city as well as Montreal. Saguenay is just about two and a half hours away from Montreal uh, by road. Our college was established in 1986 and we are almost a 35 year old institution today. We have trained over 5,000 students across the entire Quebec and we're very proud of that. Um, we work very closely with the top IT companies located in Saguenay as well as in Quebec. Not to mention at College Multi Hexa, we provide UG diploma programs in IT, which is why we have close tie up with all the IT companies located in Saguenay as well as in Quebec so that our students can find part-time, I'm sorry, the students can find their uh, jobs uh, to choose up their careers, as well as um, for their internships. Over the years, we've built quite a good reputation with not only the governmental companies, but also the private as well as paragovernmental companies located in Saguenay, as well as in Quebec. Now, in front of you, the picture that you see uh, is the building where our uh, campus of multi Hexa College is located. Now, in the ground floor of this building, we are located as College Multi Hexa, whereas uh, the rest of the building has been occupied by an IT company called CGI. There are a number of IT companies located in the same building along with CGI, CGI being one of the biggest IT companies. We um, have a very close tie up with the CGI company. Um, it's also a business partner of College Multi Hexa. We want to ensure that our students can easily apply for their jobs as well as for their internships to a number of IT companies. Moving ahead, I'd like to talk about our value proposition. So we provide hands-on training from the best teachers in the industry with work-based skills development. Um, we have a small classroom set up with not uh, more than 20 or 22 students per classroom. We want to maintain the ideal student to teacher ratio, which is uh, focused on teaching. We want to make sure that each student studying in our classroom is able to interact with the teacher. And at the same time, the teacher should also be, pay, uh, should also be able to pay attention um, to all these. Um, all the programs that we provide at College Multi Hexa comes with targeted course content that has been obviously approved by the Quebec Ministry of Education. The students obviously have the opportunity to learn and master the language French because we are talking about Quebec and uh, not to mention that Quebec uh, is actually a province in which the uh, major language spoken is French. So uh, Quebec is a French dominated area. Moving ahead, um, Saguenay has actually a very low cost of living with efficient transportation system and affordable housing options. So if you choose to study with us at College Multi Hexa, you will be having a very low cost um, of living to pay, um, even if, including your transportation and accommodation. Moving ahead, uh, I'd like to share a quick video in which our student administrator, Alex, is giving a quick tour uh, from our campus of College Multi Hexa. So let's begin with the video. Okay, 
guys. Yeah, so I am from outside the, the campus here, um, which you can see just behind me. Um, as I was saying, um, obviously, I'm going to be looking after you today. Um, I'm going to have a quick tour of the outside of the building, uh, then a quick tour of uh, inside the campus itself. And then obviously, we're going to meet some of the students we've got here with us and obviously answer your questions. So what I will do is I will start this off. Bear with me. Um, let me just switch my video around so you don't have to see me. Okay, good. So this is the outside of the campus. Um, this is the college building itself. Um, as you can see, it's a very big building. There's eight floors. Uh, there's over a thousand people who work in this building. Um, most of them working for CGI, who I'm going to talk to you about shortly. And then obviously our campus is within this building. Um, it's basically all IT companies that are working in this building. So obviously we've got a great network, a great infrastructure in place. Um, so I'm just going to slow you take you for a little walk. Um, I don't know if you can see in the distance in the video, you might not be able to, we can actually see the mountains. Um, we have a mountain range, which is about 45 minutes drive away from um, the town of, of Shikutami, um, which is fantastic for the winter when it snows, um, which it does snow a lot here. So, uh, be ready for that. Um, and this is just some of the outside of the, the, the campus. And um, as you can see, it's, it's beautiful surroundings. There's lots of trees and lots of greenery. Um, and there's lots of residential areas just around the campus, which is obviously great for, for students when they're going to be living hopefully close to the campus. So as you can see, the, there's eight floors here. We are on the, um, we're on the, the second floor of this building. Um, CGI have three or four floors just for them. I think they have over 900 employees working here. And as I say, CGI are, are one of the biggest IT companies in the world. Um, they, they've got offices all, all across the world. So, um, they're, they're a great partnership that we actually have, you know, students will go there and do their, uh, their internships after their time at the college. So I'm just approaching the main entrance of the, the college now. As you can see, um, you can probably see the multi hexa logo, which I'm approaching slowly. So you can just see the multi hexa logo up here on the wall. And then, uh, as you can see, if I pan the camera a little bit just here, you can see, um, hopefully you can see the CGI logo, which is just up on the wall here as well. As I say, that's, um, that's who we share this building with and are quite a few other smaller IT companies as well. Um, so as you see, if I just pan around a little bit, I say it's a very nice sunny day. And as you can see, the beautiful surroundings that we have of the, uh, the college here. And that's really reflected in the region. You know, as I say, we have mountains, we have the river running through the, uh, the town of Shikutami. Um, and, you know, lots of great surroundings, natural, uh, national parks, um, all sorts of wonderful things around the building. So they come in every day to go to work. Um, in front of you is the, the welcome desk. Um, normally Helen would be sat there. She's actually on holiday at the moment, but um, she takes care of a lot of the uh, administration side of the college for us. This is just a kind of area to come and have a, a cup of coffee and, and a bit of a break during the day. Um, I'll just stick my head in quickly and say hello to Claude. Say hello, Claude. Hello. Um, this is one of the guys here who works. He, he makes a lot of technology for some of the uh, big annual million companies in the region. So head on through. Now this is um, this is kind of an administration area for the college. So um, this is where um, you will find um, Jark, who's not here just, just yet this morning. He is the college president. His his office is just over there, and Hugo, who, who's the uh, director of the college. Um, some other offices here. This is my office here, actually. I thought I'd just show you it very quickly. Sorry, it's not in particularly in, in good order, but uh, this is my office just here where I'm, I'm normally working from. And then if we head on a little bit further through, this is another company just through this door. Here's another company that works for us. They, they do a lot of computer programming. 
And then if we head on into here, this is the teacher's office. So this is where you will find all the college teachers. Nice big office, um, lots of room. Students are always welcome, you know, to come and knock on the door and chat with the teachers, ask them any questions. You can obviously see lots and lots of IT equipment stacked up in here. And then this is the college network. So um, for those of you, um, we'll, we'll bring everyone in when they get here and we'll give them a look at the college network here. You know, we obviously uh, have to look after this um, every day as well. And, you know, this is a great place where the students, certainly those who are going to be working as network managers, can come and familiarize themselves with the, you know, the runnings of a small network. Obviously, you know, in, a, in big businesses like CGE, they have a huge, huge building, which is just dedicated to all of their server computers. Um, and maybe give you a little shot out of the, uh, the window here. Again, you can see the, the beautiful surroundings of the town of Shikutami. Right, so I'll take you out of the uh, teacher's office. This is Regis's desk, which is always a bit of a, a mess. We always laugh at him about that because he needs to tidy it up a little bit. This is where most of the classrooms are found. So if I take you slowly down this uh, corridor um, and take you into one of the classrooms. So as you see, nice, um, nice small classroom sizes. Um, this one isn't fully equipped just yet. Um, obviously, with the situation, we've had recently uh, as, as everyone's been affected by the, the COVID-19 situation um, you know we haven't had a lot of students in, in the building recently um, but we're slowly starting to be able to have them back on, on campus which is great so that's one of the, the classrooms and I'll take you a little bit further on as I say there's classrooms on the on the left and the right this is um, a, a lab just in here through this uh, window here a lab where students can come in and, and work on some of their projects and, their, and some of the laboratories that we do. This particular room here, full of um, computer equipment, as you can see, not all of it new. Um, this is where we tend to um, do the final project at the end of your time here. So students will come and put together a, a computer and computer network, and they can obviously practice. They can take computers to pieces and understand all the workings of them. So take you a little bit further on into another classroom just here. So again, another nice, you know, nice classroom size. You know, we tend to have classroom sizes of about 30 or so people. Um, you know, so this one's pretty well set up. Gives you an idea of, uh, you know, the, the great classroom size here, you know, there's not too many students crammed in all the same time through their time at college. I'll just take you to the end of the building here. Um, you know, this is another one of the, the entrances to the college just here. And then this is an area where students can come and sit and take a break, just turn the lights on. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of a, a break room for kind of lunchtime and break times during the classes. So we will head on back this way and we will go and find some of our students who are already here and they made it here earlier this year, which was great. Uh, we've been taking care of them. They've obviously started their courses now. Just go on through into this classroom here. Say hello guys. Hello. We are some of our, our students here. Um, so and yeah, another good classroom size here. You know, obviously fully set up for the, the classes. And again, I'll just show you the, uh, the view out of the window at the back. Again, you see really nice surroundings to the college as well. On a very nice sunny day here. Um, so that was a quick uh, tour from campus by Alex. I'd like to thank Alex for this. Uh, moving ahead, let us uh, have a discussion about uh, life in Saguenay. So Saguenay it can actually be considered as a blend of urban city with huge developed buildings as well as nature. Saguenay is surrounded by beautiful forests, lakes, hills and valleys. It is actually considered as an ideal vacation spot as well. 
there are a lot of recreational activities for the international students to try on, such as climbing, um, cycling, skiing, fishing, kayaking, and wakeboarding. Um, I've put a couple of pictures here for, um, for all of you to have a look at. Uh, we have a couple of students ski uh, during the winters uh, when the snow falls there in Saguenay. And then there are beautiful waterfalls, uh, shopping complexes, as well as city views. The students can even visit the nearby art galleries. Uh, they can definitely attend the festivals that are uh, celebrated around the city. They can go for berry picking um, activities such as whale watching. Basically, there is uh, something for everyone to do in Saguenay. Um, now, the population of Saguenay is about 1.46 lakhs um, as of 2020. And the area of Saguenay is about 1,280 kilometers square. Uh, whereas the nearby cities um, of Saguenay are quite smaller as compared to Saguenay now, uh, such as Montreal. So Montreal has got a population of 42.2 lakhs uh, uh, and the area is just 431 kilometers square. So Saguenay is actually three times as big as Montreal and uh, we do not have heavily trafficked roads or anything in Saguenay. All the resources are pretty um, easily available for everyone around the city. You can simply take a, a local bus uh, in order to go from a place to another and you will definitely reach on time. So uh, like I mentioned, you can enjoy a high quality of living in Saguenay um, at a very reasonable price. The lifestyle of Saguenay is very affordable as compared to the other regions such as Quebec City or even Montreal. Uh, so on an average, the housing costs about $375 a month for shared rooms, whereas um, the monthly groceries are about for $200 to $300 per person. Uh, the transportation system, basically the local transportation system that Saguenay has to offer, it covers the uh, most of the industrial, commercial, as well as residential areas locally so the students need not purchase their personal um, car or anything they can simply take the local bus and they can easily commute from a place to another now this is a picture which um, is from the inside of a local bus uh, from Saguenay so yeah uh, that's what we have uh, related to the transportation now uh, moving ahead let's have a look at uh, some of the uh, major tourist attractions around the city now this is a place called downtown Chicotimi uh, so we have beautiful buildings um, close to um, the sea and then we have a number of museums in this in the city around and then one of which is La Pirie. so this is a picture from one of the museums in Saguenay um, then we have uh, this place known as Port Village where we have a number of ships and cruises coming in uh, during the day uh, moving ahead, uh, this is one of the shopping areas where the students can simply go purchase their groceries or anything that is required for their basic needs. Moving ahead, um, let's have a look at the residential area. So this is one of the pictures uh, from the residential area. This is what uh, the houses in Saguenay looks like. I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse um, of uh, the houses located in Saguenay. It's pretty beautiful. Um, moving ahead, we have a number of uh, points where you uh, can have a beautiful view of the city. So we have low heighted mountains. Uh, you can definitely uh, visit this place uh, along with your friends and relatives. Um, we also have a number of activities for the students and basically for everyone to do, such as bridge crossing. You can go for kayaking in the sea. Um, so yeah, there's basically uh, some activity or the other for everyone to try their hands on. Um, moving ahead, and let us play a quick video um, from uh, Saguenay. Saguenay, a city with a lot to offer. A dynamic city. Saguenay, a city surrounded by spectacular nature. It's a city that offers an unparalleled quality of life with more than 146,000 inhabitants in a vast area where we do good business. Saguenay is known as one of the best cities in Canada for industry and plantation. Situated in the heart of the province of Quebec, it's the regional metropolis as well as the hub for development in northern Quebec. There are several ways to get to Saguenay. By land, with a safe four-lane divided highway. By boat, with its two modern deep water ports that are accessible year-round. And by plane, 
With the Saguenay Bagotville Airport, the most active regional airport in Canada in terms of flights to sun destinations, welcoming more than 100,000 travelers per year. The Canadian Forces Base Bagotville is also located there. It provides an important link between the Canadian and American National Defence Forces. With its diverse industries, Saguenay boasts a highly qualified and skilled workforce known for its stability and productivity. Benefiting from the presence of Rio Tinto Alcan, the second largest aluminum manufacturer in the world, Saguenay is known for being the aluminum capital of the world. With its four production centers, three research centers, and multiple processing plants, Rio Tinto Alcan provides more than 10,000 direct and indirect jobs. With its thousands of businesses, Saguenay offers more than 70,000 jobs to its citizens through its industrial parks and commercial arteries. Its logging industry represents 20% of Quebec's production. The city works in conjunction with exploitation, sawmills, and paper mills. It's the biggest timber reserve in Quebec and has over 500 active businesses in the sector. Nine major ones working on the first stages of transformation. With its 16,723 hectares of agriculture, the agri-food industry represents 9% of Quebec's businesses. We process their dairy products, meat, potatoes, and wild blueberries. Saguenay can provide the majority of its own electrical energy needs. It benefits from an experienced workforce in the sector where manufacturers and engineering firms share their knowledge with others around the world. The city also offers complete healthcare and education services with three hospitals, a university, and two colleges. The Université du Québec à Chicoutimi boasts several research centers and chairs and several faculties, including a faculty of medicine. A majestic fjord. A land of adventures and wide open spaces. A rich cultural program and a must-see tourist destination. In addition to its low cost of living, the city is one of the safest in Canada. The city enjoys a peaceful and tranquil atmosphere, which allows the population to feel safe, an important aspect of well-being. With its legendary and unrivaled welcoming spirit, friendly population, vast areas and numerous waterways, not to mention the snow, lots of snow. Saguenay is a destination of choice where we do good business and life is enjoyable. Uh, you guys, I hope um, that you got an idea about what life looks like living in Saguenay. We've got um, a number of industries located with processing plants, so um, it's it's a developed city. Um, I, I would like to mention. Uh, now, moving ahead, let us talk about one of the major concerns of the international students, which is part-time jobs. So there are a variety of part-time jobs that the students can apply for when it comes to Saguenay. So um, the salaries are, of course, going to depend upon uh, the type of job that the student selects. So a student can definitely work as a salesman at a store or at a supermarket and uh, can even uh, work as a receptionist or a support executive in an office. Um, we also have job options such as cashier at the supermarket or even as a worker in the factory and the uh, very basic wage rate or I should say the minimum wage rate that a student gets while he works at a part-time job in Saguenay is $13 per hour. So that's what the least amount that a student makes and it, the amount can actually go up to $18 to $21 per hour. Now it depends upon the type of job you choose like I mentioned. So here I've put a quick screenshot from one of the websites known as Indeed.com, which actually helps us uh, find uh, full-time jobs as well as part-time jobs around us. So when we look up for the part-time jobs in Saguenay, um, it actually shows a number of options. For example, here we have um, the, uh, an option such as a seasonal sales associate for which the student can actually make $17 to $21 an hour. Um, 
you can even apply as a, a warehouse as a warehouse employee for which you'll be paid 14.50 dollars an hour so like i mentioned there are a number of part time jobs available in saguenay and uh, believe me we have part time jobs for all of every student uh, that comes to study with us and uh, the salary uh, can go up to 21 dollars um so moving ahead uh, let us talk about the programs that we offer to the students we offer ug diploma it programs to the students at college multi hexa not to mention that we are a pioneer in it um, and computer studies in saguenay with over 35 years of experience in teaching now uh, like i mentioned college multi hexa is a 35 year old institution and definitely we have 35 years of experience in teaching we are very strategic strategically located um, close to the companies like cgi in fact in the, in the building itself so that our students can easily apply for their internships as well as for their jobs and uh, the opportunities should not be limited to the students uh, moving ahead, the first program that we are offering for the international students um, is AEC Programmer Analyst. Now, this is an IT diploma, the duration of which is two years. After the completion of this two years diploma, the students um, will be eligible for their postgraduate work permit of up to three years. Uh, the job options that the students can opt for after the completion of this programmer analyst program are a web developer, a database manager. You can even work as a mobile developer after the completion of this particular program. And the salary that you can make um, on an average basis uh, is about $42,500, which is pretty good. Um, so moving on to the next program that we offer to the students, um, this is AEC Network Manager, which is again a two years diploma. Now after the completion of this two years diploma, the students will be again eligible for their postgraduate work permit for up to three years. And they have a number of job options to apply for after the completion of this particular program, such as um, IT advisor, uh, network administrator, as well as IT technician. Uh, the salary for the same uh, that the student can make on an average is $39,975 as a beginner's level salary. Uh, moving ahead, we have a number of local employment um, opportunity options um, for the students. So there are a number of IT companies that are located in the same business region, such as our college multi-hexa. So all of these companies are located pretty close to the campus, um, uh, one of which is Resolu. Uh, then we have Ubisoft. Um, CGI, obviously, in the building itself, we have other IT companies known as Ariane Postgrade, Canmec, um, Saguenay, Bell, uh, Rio Tinto, Hydro Quebec, as well as BlackRock. Now, you can definitely cross check the location of these companies on internet. You can check how far or close they are from uh, our campus of College Multi Hexa. The students can definitely apply for their uh, internships as well as for their jobs in any of these companies that are pretty close to the campus. So uh, all of our programs are accompanied with certain amount of internships. Um, so towards the end of the program, the students will be having the internships for three months uh, towards the end of their program, which is actually a part of their program. Um, and the class schedules is basically the classes are for three days a week. So the students are going to have their classes three days a week. And for the rest of the week, they're um, free to work and do whatever they like to do. Moving ahead, uh, our placement rate is pretty good so far. So we have 85% uh, placement rate at College Multi Hexa. Um, our campus location um, is almost uh, in the center of the city. So we are located in the heart of the city, Saguenay. And we have also been supported and uh, recognized by the major IT players um, in the industry, such as Microsoft and Cisco. So we're very proud of that, that we've got recognition from such big IT companies. Um, moving ahead, uh, we have uh, a number of international students studying with us and I have shared a picture, pictures from a couple of students uh, studying with us on campus. So if you look at the leftmost picture, um, it's our students going on a short trip with our student administrator, Alex. And the rightmost picture um, is from the students standing right outside our campus of College multi -Hexa. So basically enjoying the snowball. So um, moving ahead, um, we uh, have a very affordable housing option for the international students along with the effective transportation system. We are just 55 minutes away from Montreal by plane and two hours away from Quebec City by car, uh, which is also a gateway to the far north Quebec. Um, uh, so definitely cost of living is one of the things. Uh, it's actually suitable to the student life and more affordable than other cities located in Quebec. Uh, 
Moving ahead, we have a number of student services for the international students. So our team at College Malti Hiksa ensure to receive the students right from the moment that they arrive in the region and through all of their time that they are in the college right up to their internship, graduation, as well as um, their first employment. We will provide the hands-on approach and specialized IT learning at the college, um, including the French courses and all sorts of guidance that the students might need uh, to help them with their studies along with their uh, career options to help them achieve their goals. Um, so uh, if anybody got, has got any questions, I will be answering uh, your questions live um, now. So let us have a look at what we have received in the Q&A section. Now, if you have any questions related to um, your jobs, your part-time jobs, or living in Saguenay, uh, you can simply put those in the Q&A section. All right, so um, we've got a question that says, uh, is there any scholarship for international students? So I would like to mention that uh, we uh, currently have um, a student uh, discount, a tuition fee discount for all the international students uh, of 2000 Canadian dollars. So our current fees for January 21 intake, which is obviously our next intake, is $11,800 a year. So we are actually giving discounts to all of the students and there is no scholarship at the moment. So um, yeah, that's the answer to this question. I'm moving ahead to our second question. Okay, so I received this question that says, um, are the courses hybrid or online? Well, um, we are currently running the uh, programs online um, given the current situation of COVID-19. So the students can initially um, study online with us before their internship begins. But um, when they have to learn the practical uh, stuff related to networking as well as coding uh, on campus and their internship, they're going to have to reach um, on campus for sure. So you can say that, yes, uh, it's a hybrid right now, but we do provide on campus um, studies. Uh, at the moment yeah so yeah, that's the answer to this question now moving on to the next question will there be online classes for january intake um well uh, nobody's certain of this situation the situation is quite unpredictable right now so we're not quite sure um how that is going to go because january is still um approximately three months away from now. We will definitely update you uh, when we come closer to the date. And once we finalize how we are going to run our classes in January, depending upon the situation, we will definitely drop you an update uh, in emails for sure. So we do not have any update uh, at the moment if we are going to run the classes online in January as well. Okay, so are there any co-op programs available at College Multi Hexa? Well, um, we do not have any co-op programs, but we do have programs including internships. So the duration of the complete diploma program is two years, whereas out of those two years, three months will be the internship towards the end of the program. So this is not a co-op program, uh, but you can study on campus and uh, go for your internship as well. Okay, so how many hours the student has to attend the classes? Uh, the students will be attending their classes probably um, four to five hours a day. So that's the duration of the classes that the students um, has to go for. Four to five hours a day, uh, three days a week. So yeah, that's all. Okay, will the internship be paid or unpaid? A good question, um, uh, Gurinder. So basically uh, the internship, uh, we do not actually assure if it's going to be paid or unpaid, just like the way it is in India. If the student has got the right skill set he might get paid for a particular internship, but we never are going to assure that it's always going to be paid. So it's, it really depends upon the skill set of the student. He might get paid for it. So we cannot assure about that. Okay, is it mandatory to learn French courses? Um, well, uh, I would like to say that uh, the Quebec government is actually paying the international students to attend French classes. Plus, uh, learning a new language is actually fun. So I would suggest, it's not mandatory, but I would suggest uh, that the students go and learn French uh, because it's going to be a very great experience for the students. It's not mandatory though. It's just going to help the students um, uh, cope up with things around the city. 
All right, again, internship paid or unpaid, I've just answered this question. We cannot assure if the internship is going to be paid or unpaid. It just depends upon the skill set of the student. If you have the right skill set, you might even get a paid internship. Is there any opportunity to do, to do, to do job in um, Fox after study? Um, this question is, is not quite uh, explain, explanatory. I, I don't know, it's missing some information. Um, but yes, the students have the opportunity to uh, work after study because uh, we do have postgraduate work permit of up to three years after the completion of the program of two years uh, for all of the international students. So you definitely uh, get the opportunity to work after you complete your studies at College Multi Exam. Is there any help that the college does for the students for the quarantine plan? Um, yeah, definitely we help the students for the quarantine plan. Um, if the student wants the assistance, we can definitely have a, a hotel or a place booked for the students uh, where they can self quarantine themselves for 14 days prior to uh, starting their classes or prior to uh, actually uh, coming on campus. So yes, we can definitely help the students with that. Is it harder to find jobs if a student doesn't learn French? Well, there is nothing like th that. Um, we already have uh, a number of students studying uh, on campus with us and they have been working at their part-time jobs since day one. They're still in the process of learning their language French, but they're still working at their workplaces, at their respective workplaces. So French is not going to be a barrier in um, while, while a student works at a part-time job. It's not going to be a barrier. For sure. Uh, majority of the um, uh, population speaks English along with French, so that is not a problem. But of course, uh, you have more benefits if you know how to speak French. How many gap years are acceptable? All right. So um, as long as the students can provide justification of their gap years, whether it's five years or seven years, so up to seven years of gap, we, are, we can definitely accept, um, but only if the student has the justification for those years. So that is the answer to this particular question. I hope uh, that's answered. Okay, to the next question. After the completion of the course, can the student do their internship in any other province? Um, yes, definitely. If the student wants to do his internship in any other province, he can go for that. But I would suggest that um, studying and working in the same province will only help the students uh, to achieving their PR um, more smoothly. So I, it's just a suggestion from my end. But if you want to uh, move to another province for your internship, you can definitely go ahead and do that. Okay, the band score required for IELTS um, and if we accept Duolingo or not. The band score, the band score that we require for IELTS is um, six overall with no module less than 5.5. And we do accept uh, online test scores such as Duolingo as well as IELTS indicator. So for Duolingo, we need, to, we need for the student to have 105 to 115 points. And we also accept IELTS indicators. So other than um, the basic IELTS, we only accept two online test scores, which is Duolingo as well as IELTS indicator. So if the students um, have appeared for uh, either Duolingo or IELTS indicator, they can apply uh, at College Multi Hexa. We uh, give the conditional offer letter within 24 to 48 hours. That is the turnaround time um, for the offer letter. So if uh, your application is received today, we will be processing it within next 24 to 48 working hours and we will be giving out the letters to all the students. PTE, well, uh, we do not accept PTE at the moment. Um, we are going to accept it um, probably uh, in, a, in a couple of months. And if we happen to accept PTE, we will definitely notify you and update you on the same news. But currently it's just IELTS and for online test score, it's IELTS indicator and Duolingo that we accept um, to provide admissions to the students. So PTE is a no at the moment. Students with bachelor's degree, can they take the courses? Of course, the students with bachelor's degree, if they are interested to study with us in our UG diploma programs of programmer analyst and network, network manager, they can definitely go ahead and they can um, uh, apply uh, for admission at College Monthly Exam. Okay, do we accept open boards or not? Well, open boards is accepted. Uh, so if you have 50% um, overall with no subject less than 50% um, 
in your grade 12, uh, we definitely can accept uh, your profile. All you need to do is share your educational documents with us um, on the email ID uh, global.admissions at the rate collegemultihexa.ca. We will assess the profile of the student and we will let you know if the student is meeting our admission requirements or not. There is no application fee for January 21 intake. You can definitely apply for January 21 and take completely free of cost. Uh, the student can even pay his tuition deposits in uh, two halves. So you can make a payment of uh, first semester um, initially and then you can pay uh, for the next semester after reaching the campus. So our current tuition fee is $11,800 for January 21 and take, which is a discounted tuition fee. Uh, like I mentioned, there is a discount of $2,000 going on right now for January 21 and take. And I think now is the best time to apply for January 21 and take because the fees, uh, fees have become so affordable and uh, plus there is no application fee at all. Uh, we have flexible requirements for admission. So uh, do make sure to share uh, your educational documents with us at global.admissions at the rate college multihexa.ca. Okay, what about the post-study work permits for the students? Like I mentioned, we do have uh, the post-study work permits for up to three years uh, for all of the students. Okay, so which courses are available after grade 12 and which are after bachelors? Um, well, both of the programs are available uh, for all of the students, whether you are a 12 passed out student or if you are a bat if you're already if you're already done a bachelor's, you can definitely uh, still apply to our UG diploma um, IT programs uh, at College Multimedia. Duolingo score requirement. I've just mentioned the Duolingo score requirement. It is uh, 105 to 115 points. 105 to 115 points is the Duolingo uh, requirements. So um, for more information, you can write us an email with your queries um, on um, global.admissions at the rate college multihexa.ca or you can even write us an email on india1 um, at the rate college multihexa.ca. Um, if your questions are unanswered, um, we will be sending you an email. We do not have to worry about that. Um, do make sure to follow our official page of uh, Facebook of College Multihexa so that you can stay updated with all the recent news and information that we have for the students, whether we are uh, accepting PTE or giving more discounts to the students or not, what uh, new is happening on campus with the current international students studying with us. So you can definitely catch all those sorts of information. Um, so yeah, you, for more information, you can definitely visit our um, website of College Multihexa as well. So um, with that, it brings us to the end of uh, today's session. Um, and I hope um, that everybody enjoyed our exclusive webinar, especially the students. We hope that this session was informative and everyone took some learning from the session. Now, I would like to thank all our education agents and the students for participating with us in today's information session. In case you have missed anything, like I mentioned, we will be sending you the details after the session. Till then, please take care and stay safe. <laughs>